Hey everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. <laughs> uh, Drake? <laughs> He's singing some campfire songs. Ah, oh, what a sweet serenade for his wife on this fine, fine Friday morning. He is off to work, and he's looking so snazzy in his, I was going to say suit and tie, but it's really just khaki pants and tie. Sorry, not sorry. But, um, okay, Drake wannabe. Uh, we see you. We see you. Um, but currently, Ethan is off to school, and a lot of you guys were like, why does his hair look like a thumb? Okay. I'm so a little stuffed up, so I apologize. Um, now that I look at this, completely agree. Looking like a thumb. But he's off to school. I'll change it after school and all that good stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, she doesn't need to be getting all sad. Morning, Jose and everything. He's alive. He's alive. Kind of. Kind of not really. But we'll go ahead and uh, give Gretchen a little snack. Oh, she doesn't want okay, it. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and play with Gretchen because she's so cute. She reminds me of an English bulldog. And Oh, yes. I love her. <laughs> For those who don't know, I'm pretty much like the biggest English bulldog stan ever. Love English bulldogs. I have two, and they're kind of my, my, my everything. Ariana Grande, my everything. <laughs> um, oh, she's all sad now. But I think... Oh my gosh, I'm so stuffed up. Oh my gosh, I seriously apologize for that. I'm going to be pretty stuffed up in this part. I don't know why. I've been fine all day, but once I start filming, it's like, what? Uh, I guess Taylor's going to go get some Z's for a little while, but I, like I was saying, I want her to find a boyfriend in this part. I think that would be pretty nice, or maybe that boy that we moved in next door. I think, I think they'd be rather dashing, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I'm gonna have Nadine instead of playing on Instagram, <laughs> aka that's literally me. I spend way too much time. Actually, we'll clean that up. Okay, so we can search the basement or the attic. I'm gonna go ahead and say search the attic. Performance loss, small, well, whatever. I'm gonna have her clean those dishes up really quickly and then resume writing. Oh, we got our royalties, 992 simoleons. Actually less than usual, which is not very cool. Uh, we're going to finish writing our Perry Potter. These royalties are pretty much our income, and it's making ends meet. So it's looking like we're going to have to go, go ahead and get rolling with these books a little bit quicker, because it's pretty much how we make make money in this house so we're gonna head upstairs finish Perry Potter Perry Potter has been taking us a while I don't know why but it's um I'm pretty sure it's not anything too crazy a crazy genre or something I believe it's fantasy or non -fi I don't I don't know not non-fiction I think it's fantasy um Okay, yum! But you guys, you have no idea how excited I am for get to work. Like, it's unreal. No, she just reached the writing level 9. She can now write mystery. Oh, I love mystery books. I love Nancy Drew. Don't even get me started. Those video games are my life. But we can now write mystery books, and she can submit to Literary Digest. Oh, so does that mean we can submit our books to that, or is it like an online thing? I believe we can sell our books to them. I'm here to finish this book up so I can go ahead and submit it. She's getting really, really tired. Finish Perry Potter. We need the money. That's awesome. Oh, and Taylor starts work in one hour, so she actually needs to go ahead and wake up. Uh, go take a shower. And Ethan is done with school, so he's going to really quickly take a shower, and then we are going to change his appearance. Did she finish Perry Potter? I don't think she did. <sighs> really? <gasps> she did! <gasps> yes! She finished Harry Potter! Oh, I'm so happy. So she's going to come down here and feed Gretchen. And we're going to submit our book to Literary Digest. Uh, let's see. Submitting a book to the Literary Digest will grant a large amount of royalties, which I receive daily. Yes! All this interaction can only be, be be performed once a week. I'm down. I'm down. 
go ahead and put Perry Potter out there. Um, as long as we make a good sum of money daily, <laughs> I'm ready. Hopefully, the Literary Digest will love Nadine's work. Books can only be submitted once a week, but will earn a larger amount of daily royalties than publishing. That's really, really exciting, and I hope all goes well. So before she heads off to take a little nap, I'm going to have her cook a gourmet dinner. And I think tonight we're going to have some butternut... I, I'm going to... I know. I'm going to totally say this wrong, and I'm sorry. Nachi? Butternut nachi? I am probably so wrong. Since I've gotten the game, I've actually taken the time to go try it and it's really, really good. So I do know what it is. I just don't know how to say it, but it's absolutely delicious. And I would highly recommend trying it, by the way. But uh, Drake's kind of hungry, but for now, I'm going to have him go play his guitar for a little bit. He is going to play a little rock. Yeah, he's going to play, I didn't even get that. I think it was Spleen On or something. Didn't really get the time to read it, but uh, Ethan, you didn't go do Hi, your everyone. Or... So I am sparing you guys your poor ears. Well, not really, because this is probably going to hurt your ears anyways. But I was going off on a tangent about how hot people are when they wear glasses, because I gave him glasses. So I'm just going to spare you guys the time and talk to you. It's a day later while I'm filming this voiceover. And yes, I know, I sound like I'm going through puberty. I'm just sick and I lost my voice. And um, anyways, I thought it was kind of funny. And uh, anyways, I'm giving Ethan a makeover right now. And I was, like I said, I was pretty much raving about how hot he looked with his glasses. If you wear glasses, rock them, rock them so hard. Because when I put glasses on, it looks like big cantaloupes on my face. I just I can't pull them off. So if you wear glasses, rock them because I can't, okay? <laughs> Anyways, how are you guys? <laughs> I'm so, I know I sound like I'm 12. No offense 12 year olds, rock on, stay young. All right, so I don't know why Taylor is home from work. This is honestly, I believe it's a glitch. Time you go into, I don't know, cast or something. Your sims all come home or you start your game back up. They all come home. So now she made 12 simoleons. What the hell? Game. Fix yourself. But Nadine can now pre uh, prepare herb crusted oh. salmon and oh, spinach frittata. But I'm going to have Taylor come out. Ooh, okay. Come out here and practice making drinks for a little bit. Uh, however, dinner is done. So, oh, Drake, are you not hungry anymore? Come grab a serving boy. Also, I do have some plans for the very last part, which I think would be a lot of fun and probably heartwarming for the last part. I'm not going to tell you guys, though. I just said dough. I'm not going to tell you guys, though. And you guys will just have to wait to see what it is. Uh, but I'm very excited. Not it's it's like a better a better. It's a bittersweet sort of feeling. You know what I mean? Because get to work. I also want to do a challenge because challenges are so popular right now, and yep. I've never really done one. And you know, I'm down to try some new things. You feel me? But I think what I want to do, it's um, it's only 5:53 p.m. These two are looking at each other like, you know what's up. You know what's up. I want a woohoo. I want a woohoo. <laughs> um, the kids are doing their thing. Ethan's asleep. Taylor's making her drinks. They're probably like, it's t it's now or never. It's now or never. Go to probably the most romantic spot in town. We're, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to skip until we get there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in one second. All right, guys, and here we are at Sylvan Glades. We haven't been here, I'm pretty sure, since they got engaged. It's been a while, and this place is so magical and so gorgeous and everything. I wish I could be. <laughs> I wish I could be this, guys, this pixelated world. Yes, I'm truly that pathetic. Goals. This is goals. Please, let me read this. <laughs> um, but we haven't been here in so long. And it has such a pretty filter to it. I just said filter. Bye. 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 But um, I think what we're going to go ahead and do 
is just, you know, love our wife. I wish I would have brought the guitar. We could have serenaded her. Unfortunately, I didn't bring it. So I guess we're going to just be really nice to her. I wish we could, like, renew our vows. I think that'd be a really cool thing to do. Um, but I guess we can kind of do it and profess our undying love to her and um, caress her cheek and go ahead and kiss her after that. So we're just going to tell her how much we love her. And, you know, they built such a beautiful life together with having children and, you know, exploring what they love to do and whatnot. Just how much they love each other. They were little itty bitty babies. Aww. I love it. It's so cute. I wish for one day. I think everybody deserves somebody who truly loves them for them. <laughs> Be enticing. We'll give her a passionate kiss. There we go. That's the Drake Nadine we all know. <laughs> we don't know this. I don't know. We just know this. This is what we know. Oh, look how cute she looks. She's so freaking disgusting. <laughs> disgusting how cute she is. <laughs> um, we're going to. She said raw. Oh. Woo! Oh. All right, we're gonna whisper in her ear a little bit. Her back's hurting. She's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's getting really tired. So we should probably head back in a little bit so we can um. Woohoo. <laughs> The little fairies. Abenor. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely feeling it. They're definitely feeling it. We're gonna offer her a rose. Oh, she's professing her undying love. Okay, Nadine. I thank you so much. Oh, these two are so cute, and, but they're getting really, really tired. But um, I would love for Taylor to come out here and whoever she falls in love with kind of repeat the same thing that her parents did. It's just so romantic. It could be like a family tradition. You have to come out here to get engaged. It's just so nice. Look, look at him. He's like, listen, okay, yes, this is nice and all, but I'm ready to go home. <laughs> this face is priceless. He's like, Listen, Nadine, you beautiful and all. Hold on, I'ma let you finish. But, but, but Ben and me had the best relationship of all time. All right, I'm go. I'm I'm too much. I'm too much. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head home. Even though this is so beautiful, and I would not mind fishing or looking for frogs or something right now. Like I really want to. I really, really want to look for frogs right now. Which is not very often for me considering they scare me <laughs> um but yeah I, I guess we'll be leaving soon i'm gonna see chef gino you out here though by the end of this lp i'm finding chef gino i have to if i don't find chef gino it will actually i'll go to bed every single night and i'll be like you didn't get him you didn't get him chef gino all right everybody listen up Oh, look! It actually is like a little fairy. <gasps> you can see her legs and everything. Anyways, all right, Chef Gino. Listen up. I will find you, and I will kill you. Got it? Good. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and head home now, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, and here we are back home. So these two, uh-uh, they think they're going straight to bed, but I don't think so. They're de- Oh, he's- <gasps> He's already in bed. Is he serious? Okay, well, we haven't done bed woohoo in a little while, so I guess we should do a little woohoo in the bed. It's just been so long. I've been so obsessed with this rocket ship woohoo, little Einstein woohoo. Okay, I did not go there. They're walking by like, oh no, Taylor, we're just going to sleep. We're so exhausted. See? Yeah, okay. I see you too. I see you too. <laughs> oh, yeah. They love it. They're so excited. They're like little kids. <laughs> Remember the first time they woohooed? First time they messed around. Woo! It was in Jose and Candace's bed. 
Did somebody walk in? No, I, I was like, why did the lights turn on? <laughs> you look better with the lights off. I love it. Okay, so she's in a freaking awesome mood. Like, she's down to do whatever. I don't know why she's in such a good mood, actually. Dude, hair on fleek. Yes, work boo. Oh, she looks pissed, but she's so pretty. What? Get over here. She's a teenager. <gasps> Bye. Bye! Who's over here? Maybe we can make a couple of friends. Oh my gosh, your blue hair is so cute. Fun fact. If you're watching this, I may or may not be putting some blue in my hair tonight. We will see. Kinda scared to do it. Kinda wanna do it. Um, but I haven't really done a color in like almost two years so it's not gonna be a lot of blue it's only gonna be like a little strip but i said oh, it's summertime coming up why not right right you know what forget friends who needs them right that's how pathetic i am guys we're gonna actually come over here and gather up some of these little gem thingies hopefully chef gino is in one of them Cross your fingers. Guys, literally, everybody hold hands right now. Chef Gino. Chef Gino. Chef Gino. Chef Gino. All right. Let's see. Can we get him? If we get him, I will literally... Guys, I will cry. I will cry on camera. <laughs> I'm not even on camera. I will cry on microphone. I will cry on microphone. It will be sincere tears because i have been searching searching for this little man for way too long and i'm kind of getting sick of it like chef gino where you at though where you at though so i'm digging these up and that's how we're gonna wrap this little part up is by possibly finding chef gino because i would really like to see him oh actually we're gonna do this and then we're gonna head over to megan's really quickly and then we'll end this part because you guys haven't seen megan in a little while she moved into a new place with jose and i have some really cool custom content to show you guys or one piece of custom content that i'm sure some of you guys may have already seen huh. um however i i've had it for a while and i just thought it was really cool so i thought it'd be kind of cool to share with you guys but, um, it's almost Drake's birthday. <laughs> Come on, I need a time capsule, please. Really? Did I not get a time capsule? Are you serious right now? Uh, no. We're definitely, I need at least a time capsule right now. So I can be like, well, I guess today's not the day. Um, I feel like Chef Gino is pulling some tricks on me. What's up? I like, honestly, once I find Chef Gino, I'm done with him. Like, I won't even want him. <laughs> it's like, it's been that intense. Um, I guess we can go over to Megan's house and we can look there. <laughs> so really quickly, once again, we're going to go traveling. All right, guys. And here we are at Megan's house. I'm going to go ahead and knock, knock on her door. Hopefully she opens up, even though it's almost midnight. All right. So here she is, guys. Her house. <laughs> Don't even get me started on this house. I was quite mad at this house just the way that it was shaped made me mad i don't know let me know if you agree don't get me wrong this house is quite beautiful but just the way it was shaped was like <gasps> what do i do <laughs> so i'm not really gonna do much of a house tour as i didn't like really decorate it all that much i guess i made it livable you know with these really prim and proper chairs totally you, you need those to live <laughs> oh my gosh okay tyler tyler looks like he wants to kill his brother don't do it don't do it but here is the custom content i wanted to show you guys it's bunk beds yes bunk beds i believe this is from stinky feet i could be wrong I love your username, by the way, Stinky Feet. If it is Stinky Feet, bomb ass username. Yes, but it is from Mod The Sims, and the animations are obviously not going to be. I how can I put it? They're not going to be like actual animations because The Sims haven't made it. So any hoozles, they are completely awesome. Your sims do sleep in them. However, they don't climb up the ladder and all of that, which I think is fine, but they do work. So 
if you want bunk beds, I will go ahead and link them down below because I think they're pretty cool. Um, and they do come in some different colors. I just picked the funkier one of the two. <laughs> so I don't know where Jose is, but he's he's somewhere. But I came here for a reason, not to talk. I came here for Chef Gino, and there's tons of these out here, I believe. I have to cough, but I'm holding it in so hard right now. Um, here, here's one. Ooh, two. Um, I need more. One, two. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, three. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Chef Gino, I am coming for you. One, two, three. Oh, our old house. There's tons of them back here. Um, oh, there was a couple by our house before. Are they gone? Oh, we collected that one. Miss this house right here. Um, do, 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 a time capsule? She dug up a time capsule, guys. Life is good. Uh, actually, I don't see any back here, unfortunately. I may be blind, but I apologize for that. <laughs> um, I don't see any. What the heck? I'm just trying to find a little my. You know how crazy you would sound if you said that in like actual life. Listen, I'm like digging rocks up and stuff to find Chef Gino. I like. I'd be like, ah, uh, I gotta go home. <laughs> There was also like, I believe, I don't know, I guess that's it in the neighborhood. I'm probably missing a couple, but I have two time capsules that I can go ahead and open up now. So, uh, let's see. I got three time capsules. Open them up. I found Buddy. Okay. I found Buddy. Okay. Guys, moment of truth. Moment of truth. I just found two buddies. What's the last one? What's the last one? Chaz McFreely. <gasps> really, Chaz? Really, Chaz? Really? I have every single one of... I'm over here like, oh, it's got to be this one. It's the final one. I just got two buddies in a row. It has to be this one. It has Chaz McFreely. Chaz McFreely. Is you serious? Is you serious? There has to be one more. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? I'm like so disappointed. But the hunt for Chef Gino does not end here. Oh, hell no. It does not end here. Um, <laughs> he wishes. He wishes. Um, I'm pissed. I'm, so, I'm fuming. I'm fuming right now. Is this seriously? I've been, tr I've been trying since like part one. Part effing one. Part one. Part one! I found him before and like outdoor retreat. Part one. But you know what? You know what? We ain't even gonna go there. We ain't even gonna go there. Um. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry and punch pillows. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm gonna go on a Twitter rampage at Chef Gino. If somebody, if somebody should make him a Twitter page, um. And tweet me because I will tweet you like I will cuss you out on there if you're if you're down of course I will um I will uh at you and it will it will not be nice so I mean if somebody wants to do that just uh you know mess with me I think it'd be kind of nice um so yeah Chef Gino Twitter pages make that shit happen I would love to see that that would be amazing like you guys don't even understand Chef Gino Twitter pages take over the world make it happen guys okay okay i'm gonna go um i will be back tomorrow with another sims 4 part i know how much you guys miss the family and the sims 4 and all that stuff uh i love you all so very very much and i cannot wait to get to work because uh, yes i'm so excited okay i'm like way too hyped right now but pissed fuming okay anyways i love you all so very very much and i will see you all next time bye guys <laughs>